Um, 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 da, 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 dum. It's the Feel Better Show! This is Feel Better with the Feel Better Show. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the third episode of the Feel Better Show of 2019, I believe. It has yeah. already been there. Wow. Yeah, it is. Wow, that's that's amazing. It is. Um, as you can tell, if you don't know, we're actually recording this both audio and visually. It's it's a little... Al's, Al's going crazy. I know. I'm just... I'm, Hold on. Let I'm me just, just send over... There's Al. Oh. Look at Al. Al's live on the screen right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's nerve wracking because I, I just kind of wished I had a little bit more time to prepare facial lines. You know, no, you, I mean? you look good. You look good. Okay, you look good. Don't worry. I don't about know that. the mustache. Eh, Here, it's let's get us both on the screen there. All right. So, as ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell, uh, we got a new the new logo is up there, right there. Okay, so, yours is up. I'm down. Yeah, you're down. Don't forget, you're, you're, you're we we not gonna lie. It took us about five <laughs> tries to get this all set up and working. Um, here, let's just go straight to me. Hey, at um, least we, we got it up and running. So it's very true. There yeah. we go. There, look at Al looking all pretty. I know. Oh my god! And I, I love, wore my nice shirt. Too. You did. Yeah, you okay. did. And I, I wore a nice shirt too. So there you go. So yeah. Um. So. There we go. We got some interesting fades. Uh, we're going to work on this. This is our first one. We're working our best way. If you're listening to the audio of this, uh, head over to the YouTube channel. It's Feel Better Show on YouTube. So just go to YouTube.com slash Feel Better. So you can finally see our faces. You yeah, know? you can actually uh, enjoy our faces instead of just our silky smooth voices. Um, this this is uh, wow. Um, this is something new. We're going to be starting. Hopefully, uh, as we go, the uh, movie uh, movies uh, the videos are going to be on the podcast as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, we there's certain things we want to start. Mm-hmm. Uh, the setup's going to get better. The mm-hmm. the transitions and all that. Just give give us time to work. Well, again, on Again, we're you know starting from the bottom. You know, starting from the bottom. We're getting it to the top. <laughs> yeah. You're going down. I'm going up. I don't know. What's I going have on. no clue. You, you pointed to your. Level, <laughs> I that's know, what you did. I know. <laughs> Um, all right, so so this is us on uh, uh, visually, so visually pleasing, if yep. you will. Um, still getting used to everything. Um, I, I do like I have a little remote that I can transition to just me if I want. Oh, look, there's just sex. And things. yeah, so you can you can pretty much just mute me if I go out of line. So I I could already do that. Oh, but uh, no, yeah. no, no. Okay, no, there we go. Um, so. Uh, that's like at least 20 minutes of us just chit chatting <laughs> about random stuff. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get that. Um, I'm excited. Anyways. You're excited. I'm yeah. excited. Yep. Um, but Al, how about, I'm going to throw it to you, Al. Um, you let the, let them know what we're talking about today's show. Well, on today's show, uh, because of the release of the highly anticipated, I believe it's highly anticipated, uh, movie Glass coming out uh, this coming Friday, uh, we will be talking, discussing, and reviewing uh, the uh, two movies prior to us, which is uh, M. Night Shyamalan's uh, Unbreakable, and also the uh, movie uh, Split that came out, I believe, two years ago. I believe uh, it was two years ago. Yeah, ago. so yeah. Because they're both on the screen there. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that's going to be our little talk uh, in preparation for Glass coming out this coming Friday. Friday. It's coming out Friday. Yeah. Uh, Glass is obviously the third movie in the M. Night Shyamalan uh, superhero. Well, I guess... Is it a superhero film? I don't know. But the thing is, I, Split's not a superhero movie. It's Well, it's I, a supervillain uh, movie, kind of. Ye, I guess, but it's I would put it more into the vein of I guess horror. Could it, it could be well because because in in the trailer for Glass, mm-hmm. um, pardon me. No, um, he talks about it's time for the villains to take place, mm-hmm. take their rightful place, and mm-hmm. all that. So I think, and I think this is gonna be more into the eyes of Elijah Price, uh, which is uh, Samuel Jackson's character. Yeah, uh, I, I think, uh, yeah, I, you know, I'm ex- I'm really stoked for this movie. Uh, yeah, it's one of the, my, it's one of the movies that I've been anticipating for a yeah. while, and so uh, let's just hope uh, this is gonna be, uh, you know, the the newly kind of like up and the reintroduction. Low, the reintro- No, I wouldn't say reintroduction, but more of the. Um, like to get back to get M Night Shyamalan back into you know praise yeah. talk. So 
I, I believe so. Well, we'll uh, like from what the trailer that I saw and what we've seen, I, it looks fantastic. I like the color palette of it too. So. Yeah, the color palette is good. I do. Like I do very enjoy purplish. You know. Well, it is his color because uh, he he doesn't even look. I, I binge watched both Split and Unbreakable pretty much in the same day. Okay. So like it's it's streams together mm-hmm. uh, for me personally. Mm-hmm. Um, but. Don't doesn't he say in Unbreakable or he he always wears an Unbreakable purple, and he says something about it being royalty. I thought it was uh, what you're talking about. Uh, Bruce Sam, Wilson, Jackson. Uh, Sam, Sam Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, he wears a purple suit. You know, uh, rest in peace, Prince. Uh, yeah. um, so he, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a while. I did see the movie about maybe three months ago. Okay. Uh, but I I don't remember if there is a reason or a reference to why he does wear. I know he does wear purple. Yeah. Uh, in especially in a lot of scenes in Unbreakable. Uh, so uh, I think maybe even that in the maybe in Glass there'll be some sort of reference to the reason why that particular color or that particular color palette is uh, in like it's pretty much synonymous in the Glass movie. So. Again, that's another reason why I'm looking forward to it. So just to kind of see how everything goes as well as will there be a twist? Will there be some sort of like uh, left turn like in most M. Night Shyamalan movies? Well, well see. In, in, in Unbreakable, there wasn't much of a twist. No. The twist, quote well, unquote, Well, okay, well, the re- because I was watching... Well, it, the thing is, if you watch it the first time... Uh, and, um, I'm not gonna lie. I did not. I did not see the dynamics of being a superhero movie per se. Uh, I just know there was a hero, and there was. I thought Samuel Jackson was like something of a sidekick. Yeah. But well, then, that's what it was. Yeah. The, but what the, I thought at the beginning. And then the twist is basically no. He needed to find his opposite. So Samuel Jackson plotted to do a lot of evil, uh, evil devastations. Well, he. For me, what I thought it he was... He wanted to find his opposite, basically. Yeah. So, in in the movie, Sam Jackson starts talking to uh, Bruce Willis, mm-hmm. and he's like, look, you're a superhero. Look, you're you're mm-hmm. the exact opposite of me. He kind of says it right at the beginning. Mm-hmm. You're the exact opposite of me. Mm-hmm. I'm fragile, mm-hmm. and you're invincible, pretty mm-hmm. much. And so, as he's talking about that, he's already saying that he has to be the villain. Mm-hmm. I don't... Well... He kind yes. of he he kind of says that he has to be the villain. Mm-hmm. He he shows that he's going to be the villain in okay. this thing because he you because he's saying I'm your opposite. Mm-hmm. So you're the hero. You're always helping saving people, mm-hmm. whereas I'm I'm concocting situations mm-hmm. that make me the villain. But I'm still helping you become the hero you need to be. Mm-hmm. So for me, I'm like okay. So. He's already said it early on in the movie that he is the villain. Okay. And then this one, I think Glass is mainly his movie. I think it will be his movie. Because the like, first one was all about Bruce Willis. Yeah. Like the best scene in that movie for me personally is when Bruce Willis is doing the fucking bench bench pressing. Oh, the bench pressing. And then he was adding like more weight. Yeah, he's just like, adding weight. And everybody's like, what the fuck is wrong with him? And then finally, like the weight, uh, the secretary or something goes... Uh, it's it's fine. You you can stop trying to impress everyone. We know you haven't been sick ever, mm-hmm. so like you got the raise or whatever. And mm-hmm. he was like, I I was just testing, and it's like he has a simpleton mind. I find okay in it. Um, but yeah, and then split split was just fucking twisted. I think it was. I thought maybe McAvoy would have been praised or at least nominated for some sort of award for that for his role. Um, because that he was he was phenomenal in that movie. Oh yeah, he you know? he he played like he played a dozen different type of characters, and he's over here not getting anything huge. Well, that's and I, it. And I I think that's a, a detriment to him. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of having a lot of fun transitioning. So I'm really sorry for people. No, if no, you're just you're playing around. We're, again, yeah, we're in, we're in the we're in the testing phase. We are. Because um, again, I, this is our first uh, video. Yeah. Uh, you know, so just you know, be gentle. Yeah. It's, see, what I'm trying to do is when you're talking a lot more and I'm not, I, I'm trying to get it on you. So there's a lot of images of just Al talking, which is it's mm-hmm. it's always gorgeous to look at Al. Like I'm very lucky that 
every time I get to the podcast, I get to look across yeah, I know, I at know, this I know. gorgeous man, and so, now I'm sharing and, it. Look, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I might look into the camera and do some like silly faces or that's some fine. sexy faces. That's, so. that's what it's for. The, you did it a few times. I know. As, I had to. I had to. And, yeah. and you know what's funny is I had it str- only on you because right now we have both of us going, but before I only had you on the screen. Mm-hmm. And I'm really, unfortunately, Al can't see what I'm doing. No, no. He's flying so, blind. Yeah. So he doesn't know when the camera's fully on him, on yeah. me, uh, on both of us. So that's why I'm just going to guess of when uh, the camera is actually just, on me. Just assume the camera's always on you. Yeah, yeah. I got to, you know, I got to uh, do, do my Zoolander pose. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Was it, uh, give, was me, it, give me that Zoolander again. Was it Blue Steel? Blue Steel. Give me that sexy Blue Steel. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, let's go back to both of us. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Split was what I found was just super, super fucking realistic. Well, not just realistic, but like when the trailers first came out, no one knew what the fuck this movie was about. Well, the the idea of a man having multiple um, personalities, personalities uh, was, uh, I think, was that's the focal point. But then there is more to it when, once you watch the movie. Yeah. Um, like that yeah. was the hook. That was the yeah. hook. Can and they you, teased. Can, yeah. They teased something like a beast, or they mm-hmm. teased something like, mm-hmm. and you you thought, oh, it's just a guy who thinks this, and then when you see it, he is actually a goddamn fucking beast. He's a beast. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I don't, I don't think the twists, like there were two kind of particular twists, but I don't think they were as big as any of the other M. Night Shyamalan. Of course, like the big reveal in the end with uh, with Bruce Willis's character, David Dunn, uh, being uh, at the diner there or when he saw when he saw the news uh, about, you know, the 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 things that happened uh, during uh, the events uh, through the movie, yeah, uh, and then the big reveal is like, yeah, he is a beast, a monster. But I don't think that was as big as like, like as the ending of Sixth Sense. You know what I mean? No, no, no. no. So he he slowly after I think Lady in the Lake or was Lady, Lady in the Water. Lady in the Water. Sorry, um, I think after that the village and that one those twists kind of failed. Yeah. Oh, it it, it completely failed in the happening like. With those plants, like oh yeah, the plants killing yeah. the humans, and it doesn't help when Mark Wahlberg is just like cheesing it up. Uh, See, I like Mark Wahlberg, Marky Mark, Marky Mark. I like him as an action star and comedian. Yeah, but, but he, you can't put him into a serious role. Well, I don't know. He was great in The Departed, you know, and he was and he was nominated I, I f- for best supporting actor. I, I find that but more the of thing an is action that's, movie. It's, well, it's yeah, it technically is, but he plays he he's in this element because he he has to play a Boston. Cop. Oh yeah, he's I, playing himself. Yeah, he's basically. like Ben Affleck. Yeah, Ben Affleck play his best characters is when he's playing someone that's very similar to him. Yeah, like uh, uh, the town. Basically. The town. Yeah. He's he's playing a Bostonian. Uh, uh, Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, he's playing a Bostonian. Yeah. When he tries and stretches too far, like he wasn't. He's a good Bruce Willis because he's a rich drunk. Okay. Um. He's he's got out of rehab. So I'm proud of you, uh, Affleck. I love your face. Um, but he he was a rich drunk, and who Bruce Willis is technically a rich drunk, quote unquote. He plays a rich drunk, uh, if we go by the uh, Nolan series. Okay. Oh, uh, you're talking about um, are you talking about Bruce Willis or are you talking about Bruce? Right now, I'm talking about Ben Affleck. Uh, ben Affleck, Bruce, Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne. That's it. Oh shit! <laughs> it's all good. Uh, it's recorded. Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's but, on yeah. film that I'm um, I'm fucked hard. No, that's no, all good. Um. Blooper reel, uh, but oh yeah, okay. Batman v Superman. I think he plays a better Bruce Willis than Batman. Uh, but you mean, I don't mind uh, Bruce him Wayne. Oh, Bruce Wayne. Jesus Christ! Uh, I think he plays. <laughs> I've a better, infected you. Yeah, I know. I've infected you. Yeah, I'm sick. Uh, no, um, I think he. I think you're right. I think he does play a better Bruce Wayne than Batman. But I like how he's like. Lo- oh yeah, he's fits, ripped. He's ripped, and he he fits the bill of an older Batman of what we look like. Oh, yeah, he a, a, tent, uh, a jaded, uh, tired old Batman. Especially the way that they wanted to proceed him uh, like through the Dark Knight Returns, like yeah. the like through the, the graphic novel. If you haven't read the... Uh, uh, um, if you haven't read the graphic novel, go read it. It's pretty good. But, uh, but yeah, I think, I think the physique-wise, Ben Affleck does, uh, does show what an older Batman should look like. Yeah. You know, I um, would love for Ben Affleck in like five, 10 years, maybe five, 10 years to come back. And when they do Batman beyond, I would oh. love for him to play the grizzled 
The Batman. grizzled old Bruce yeah, Wayne from yeah, with Terry McGinnis. You know, I want no. You know what? And there was there was talks about this. I know we're off topic, but I just wanted to say like, uh, 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 listen, <laughs> most of our podcasts go off topic at yeah. least once. Okay, but twice. the thing is, is like I like I would like for Michael Keaton to come back as uh, Bruce Wayne. That's another Bruce Wayne. I love me some Michael Keaton. I love one. Keaton. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Keaton. Yeah. I think he's amazing. Yeah. I just don't know if he can play that grizzled Batman. I, I believe in his acting range. I think he can play anything. So um, I think he can be. I don't know. Ben Affleck is fine. Like, I know. just I see Ben Affleck just has that more grizzled. Like, when I look at the image, I wish I could pull up an image right now. I probably could. Uh, Post-production, but we'll, we'll no, worry about that in the that. future. Um, <laughs> Uh, actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's try this on the fly. Uh, Batman Beyond Bruce Wayne. I don't know. I just think uh, with Michael Keaton, because he is a seasoned veteran, um, I think he could pull off being the uh, the older Batman. Oh, the older Bruce Wayne in like the Batman Beyond universe. Um Maybe even well, if Adam West got rest his soul, as I'm was, doing this, uh, <laughs> if he was still alive, well, maybe I Adam West transition could pull to you. Well, there oh, we go. Oh, no, now you're on. I it, should, while I was doing that, I, I don't understand why. Yeah, it's full look on in, you. Look into my eyeball. I am uh, the now. Yeah, no, no, but I think, um, I don't know, I just feel like Michael Keaton would be the better fit if they decide to bring back a particular Batman, a particular actor who has played Batman. Or Bruce Wayne um, back. Like, I'd be a lot better than Christian Bale. Don't get me wrong. I love Christian Bale as Batman. But um, looking at the scope of things, well, it would be better than George Clooney. You know what? Why not give George Clooney another shot as an older, grizzled up uh, Batman? I don't think he was the problem uh, entirely in with the travesty and that was Batman and Robin. But you know what? I would give uh, George Clooney another shot at being an older Bruce Wayne uh, in the Batman Beyond universe. Uh, but no, my I think. But I I think all in all, I would bring back Michael Keaton as. Hold on, hold on, hold he's, on. He's hold Batman. On. He's, Keep talking. He's Keep he talking. is Batman. I'm doing something you know? right now on the okay. fly. I'm no, wondering no, no, if it's, it's all good. Work. I'm just saying, like for the most part, like I, unless you want to go outside and find another season or veteran actor to play an older Bruce Wayne in the Batman Beyond universe. I can't uh, you know, like how how old I don't remember how old Bruce Wayne is in the cartoon. He must be in his late. I'm going to be bringing up that photo in a second. Give okay, a no second. problem. Um, um you said Keaton, right? Michael Keaton. Birdman himself. Okay, I'm just getting a Oh. Is it working? Give me a second. We'll, hey, we'll, we'll soon see. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to take your word for it, too, because I can't see your screen. Yeah. But And I'm not going to get out of this chair so because I don't want people to lose lose face of this beauty right here. Uh, all right. Image. Yeah. Add source. Okay. Browse. Got it? No, okay. Uh, I'm, I have to add. Yeah. Like, I'm doing this on the fly. Yeah. And it's really weird. Because uh, I don't... If... Uh, if Look, trying to think back at uh, Dawn of Justice, Batman v Superman with Ben Affleck. Did he have gray hair? Uh, ish. Ish. Okay. Because I know he plays uh, like like an older Batman. Like in if because they were coming across with the uh, well certain aspects of Dawn of Justice, they used a bit of the Dark Knight Return storyline uh, mm -hmm. with you know with an older Batman fighting Superman. Which, uh, like, that's just one of many reasons why I just, I disdain. And I wouldn't say loathe, but with Batman v Superman, like, there's, like, five Pardon different me. stories. All at once that didn't necessarily have to be, especially the ending, which, you know, if you have spoiler alert. Um, all right, I'm going to be anyways. transitioning right now. Okay, so we'll get this up. Okay. So right now I have... The animated Batman from Batman Beyond, okay, Bruce Wayne, okay. and I have uh, Ben Affleck, Michael Keaton, and George Clooney. Okay. It's coming on the screen right now. Okay, 
Um, I want people to actually decide. That, go to our Twitter. Go to our Instagram. Go yes. to our Facebook page. Yes, and I let wanna, us know. I want to hear people's opinion on this one for sure because I, uh, I, I think the toppers. I would put Michael Keaton to play the older Bruce Wayne in the Batman Beyond. Um, if they decide to do a live, um, like a live movie. Yeah. Um, All right. So it's back. I took it off the screen. Okay. Um, but yeah, we need to get you. An, I, I'm going to buy a, ch- uh, a shitty uh, monitor okay. and replace it so that you can see what's <laughs> going on. Um, so you know what I'm doing. So you're not completely uh, out of the loop okay. here. But yeah, so I just did. That was just the Batman thing. Uh, mm-hmm. Let us know what you think. Which Batman is it? Or if you have another actor in mind, yeah. by all means. If yeah, you want to like, put Val Kilmer or... Uh, like, no, come on. Really, Val Kilmer? I don't, well, the thing is, Val Kilmer is not what he used to be. So no, no that's that's why he should not be there, because no. it's going to take him too long to get into shape. No, uh, but I did like Val Kilmer as Batman and Bruce Wayne in Batman Forever. So. Uh, I don't know. I, I found him too not, quote-unquote, manly. I don't know. I found him too... Um, could I, I I honestly to this day will still watch that movie. It's it's not the best. It's super cheesy. Isn't that which uh, one is that one? That's the one with the Riddler. Uh, yeah, Jim Carrey the Riddler, yeah, two, uh, Two Face, uh, uh, with Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, that's what a I hot thought. Nicole Kidman. Hey, look, Nicole Kidman has played uh, Vicky Vale. No, that's uh, Kim Basinger. Who did she play in? Uh, she played uh, Doctor Chase Meridian. Meridian Char- Chase or Doctor Chase? Uh, hold on. Uh, we'll just do this. Me on I know is she played the uh, psychiatrist Batman to forever. Bruce Wayne. Is it forever? Forever. No, wait. It, Clooney. Clooney was a Batman and Robin. That's right. Batman yep. and Robin. Forever. Yep. He, uh, he went against Dr. Freeze, right? Uh, Mr. Freeze, which yeah. is uh, the uh, the great Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Hold on. I'm bringing Hasta up this. Vista, baby. You know what? I'm just going to put your face on for a bit. Oh, hey, hey. What's up, everybody? Uh, um, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. Doctor Chase Meridian. You're right. Okay. Doctor Chase. No, Meridian. because I, I, I literally would watch that movie a lot. Cause I, I actually, you. I like it, but I know it's not great. It's and not. Yeah, you no. could, and you could have gotten somebody else to play, uh, like Robin or Dick Grayson, hey, other look. than Donald. Uh, I like Chris O'Donnell. He was hot at the time. That's he why he was hot, him. but he was still like, I think he was in his 30s when uh, he did that quote, like quote, like. I'll try to see if that's the case, but uh, I know he was older when he played um, Dick Grayson, uh, and ba- you could have gotten somebody younger. But there was no one at the time. I don't know. You could maybe could have just press your luck and just get like a unknown. You know no, what I mean? With the Batman, you can't. You can't mm, do that with the Batman. Yeah. Well. Anyway, he did okay. Well, just like. Look, I like Chris O'Donnell. I, I liked him in other movies, Scent of a Woman, uh, Al Pacino. He was good Ooh-ah. in that. He was good. Hoo-ah. I love that movie. Anyways, uh, but... We should really get back to... Uh, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. But we're gonna, You know what? Okay. Uh, we're going we're gonna to do a Batman episode. Yep. Uh, it's going to come up. I'll, I'll put the notes. We should, do a, we should do a best of Batman. Like We should rank it from worst to best. Are we going to include... Uh, Every single Batman movie. Including Adam West? Uh, including the Adam West one. It's been a while since I saw it, but... Uh yeah, yeah yeah we'll do that we'll we'll do it it's gonna come up I'll yeah, check well, that, put I'll check the, the an- anniversary put down the list uh yeah hold on yeah I'll okay. put it on my list of okay. episodes sweet yeah see in my trusty phone uh, I have my phone somewhere but yeah your phone somewhere yeah ah hitting shit I shouldn't hit Wait. it's all good this is awkward uh here we go episodes but uh, uh, podcast yeah. I'm trying to think of a segue from Chris O'Donnell back to to Ed Night Shyamalan. I guess I'm, I don't think Chris O'Donnell ever no. pl- played. Was he ever in a movie with uh, no. uh, Sam Jackson? I feel like we're playing like Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, uh, which is a good mo- which is a good game by the way. If you ever played it, um, uh, Batman episodes, Batman, yeah. So, uh, and you know what? We'll get my good buddy uh, Jason. Who just started a new podcast? Ooh. Shout out to Jason uh, Croxon. Uh, he started a new podcast okay. called Batman versus the World. It's him and Dante. Okay, I haven't had Dante on yet. Dante will be coming on. Don't worry. Okay, uh, he free plug a, right there. Yeah, f- free plug. Dante, uh, Dante, and him do Batman versus the World. Mm-hmm. It's a very interesting podcast. 
Really? It's Batman versus uh, different type of people. Hold on. Let me just... I'm going br- to give them free publicity because why not? I love giving that is, shout That is an interesting... Like, we also have a sponsor. I forgot. We have a sponsor. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Yeah, our first sponsor. Okay. Uh, we'll do the sponsor in a second. Okay. Um, give me a second. Shows. Uh, Batman vs. the World. They have six episodes. Okay. Uh, here here are the episodes. The first one is Batman vs. Pikachu. Okay. So it's Batman has a week to figure out how to defeat the his his opponent. Okay. So and the the, the opponent just shows up like holy fuck Batman's here. Okay. Pretty much. Um, it's not a football field. It's nothing like that. It's Everything like that. Okay. They also have a Patreon where it's Joker versus the world. So Joker versus the same vi- uh, people that Batman fights. So uh, make sure you check that out. So I, you have that is a cool. Call. I'm gonna definitely listen to that. So you have you know. Pikachu. Okay. Their second episode is versus Indiana Jones. Okay. okay. Then Batman versus Percy Jackson, but specifically the Percy Jackson from the books and not the TV, uh, the movies. I've only seen the movies. Then they did Batman versus the original Red Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I there was a lot of disagreement. I have a lot of things to say against I, this. I, it's in, in that particular, I, I I think I would like to jump in on that one. But Red Ranger, wow. yeah. Then you have Jason. Jason, yeah, Jason. <laughs> um, then every fifth episode, yeah, they do something very special. So this the the one that I'm currently listening. Their fifth episode is Batman versus the Kraken. So from the myth- uh, from uh, Clash of Titans, pretty much, but it's the mythical beast. Okay, and then they had Batman versus Miss Frizzle and the Magic School Bus. Yeah, so, and then they're that- also possibly going to be doing Batman versus uh, superheroes from around the world. <sighs> Uh, so you got the Russians, you got the Japanese, you got all that. You got Batman. I think an upcoming episode is Batman versus Starscream. Oh man! I think I think it's Starscream. I'm not sure. It's one of the no, Decepticons. No, I'm, I'm definitely gonna listen to this. It, it's yeah. a great podcast. I have to say, um, highly suggested if you get a chance. Batman versus the uh, the world. Um, but actually, um, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna put it in the video. I'll I'll, I'll throw it into the uh, audio. The uh, the sponsor, Sweet. um, just because I have to record that special. <laughs> okay. And I didn't I didn't set it up beforehand. So, anyways, work in progress. Work, work in progress. In progress. <laughs> uh, gotta learn to do the sponsorship, but you know what? Screw it. Um, a good friend of mine, she's an artist. Sponsor. Sponsor. Here's the sponsor. Sponsor of the day. I'm going to look right into the camera. I'm going to s- send it off to me. Al, you're, you're off mic now. No. You can still talk. Um, a good friend of mine, she's having her first. She's an artist. Uh, Adrian. Ah, f- I'm going to mess this up. Hold on. She actually sent me her name. Uh, how to properly pronounce it because I'm horrible with names, as most of you guys have listened in. Where is she? There she is. She sent me a voice. pronounce it just andrea gerard see andrea gerard i already i already messed it up um so she actually on february hold on uh andrea there she is gerard she has a event coming up where she uh where is it why 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 is it taking me so long to find this thing yes so she on February twenty seventh. It's mm-hmm. a Wednesday at seven p.m. Mm-hmm. Uh, the link will be in the show notes down below mm-hmm. and in the video. She is doing a a um, what should I call it? She's doing a art show. Oh, nice! She's going to be part of uh, multiple different artists. Okay, it's at uh, the ref- the the theater Rialto. It's on, says, yeah, yeah, it's on uh, Park Avenue. Yeah, it's uh, 5723 Avenue's Park in it's Montreal. A ni- it's a nice venue. It's very classy. Yeah, so she's going to be there. She's going to be doing some of her artwork, nice. which is a horror theme. Really? Yeah, she did uh, Frankenstein, uh, The Bride of Frankenstein, Wolfman. Um, she's an amazing artist. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's going to have prints for sale. She's also going to have act- the actual work is going to be for sale as well. Mm-hmm. So you can purchase that. If you're interested, the link will be in the show notes down below. I want 
I highly suggest if you get a chance. It's only $20 uh, pre-bought. I think it's 30 at the door. I'm not 100% on that, but I know $20 uh, pre-bought. It's going to be in the show notes down below. Uh, sh- it's amazing. Like You'll see Yeah, it sounds like a great concept because the Rialto Theater is such a classy night. Like it has like a 50s venue feel to it. Yeah. And then for her to do like these uh, these ama- t- these uh, like paintings. Yeah, they're paintings. She okay. she fully I, painted them herself. And, and with these monsters, like if it, and if it's a throwback like to those the uh, mon- uh, the uh, like the 50s 60s you monsters, I think it's I, I think it's worth going. I definitely go check it out for sure. Give me a second here. I'll keep talking. Okay, no, no. Uh, <laughs> especially too, like uh, I would, yeah, uh, I would definitely uh, check uh, it out uh, when you get the, uh, yeah. So definitely I'm put up. She put d- up an image. Definitely let me know the the info. I'll definitely and I'll definitely take a look see the info too on. Um, uh, where is it? She had a list. Um, oh, here it is. So I'm just gonna save this. I'm gonna throw it up. For does she have a? Does she have a Facebook? Anything? Yeah, she has a Facebook okay. page. Um, it's and Andrea Gerard. Gerard, okay. Art. Art. Which I will link in the show notes and that down below. So give me a second here. I'm gonna throw it up. Uh, new scene. I should have done this beforehand. I apologize. It's all good. Again, we are. This is uh. We're starting from the bottom. Now, now we're, we're here. here. Okay, I, I know I'm plugging Drake, and I'm not even that much of a big Drake fan. But I'm just saying. Here we go. Uh, so right now, I'm gonna put on the screen. Uh, right now, you have beautiful Al. He's looking into his uh, his his computer. Um. Here we go. So I'm gonna transition over. So this is all the artwork she's done. So you can see on the screen right now you have uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon. You got uh, Lugosi's Dracula, the Wolfman, Bride of Frankenstein. You have the Mummy. You have Frankenstein. All of that. These are the artworks that you can actually have a chance to buy. Um, they're all individual. I'm not gonna put them all up. You have that image right there. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. So it's February 27th. It's a Wednesday, it's at 7 p.m. at the Rialto. Uh, tickets, you can go there. It's being put on by Raw Artists. Uh, the link will be in the show notes. Please, if you do get a chance and you are planning on going, uh, buy the tickets through the link. It helps her out and probably promotes her a bit more. So that's a sponsorship, uh, Andrea. Eh, I hope I didn't screw it up too bad. I was supposed to send you it beforehand. I didn't, but I'm I may change it in the uh, podcast, so here we go. Who knows? Uh, but back to our what we're doing, our regular scheduled program, mm-hmm. as Al is now feverishly uh, writing on his laptop. What no, are you doing? No, I'm just trying. To, I'm actually looking up uh, Andrea. Andrea, and just to take a look, see. So, but she has some great work. She's uh, she takes commissions as well. So if you're interested, uh, contact her there. Um, it's it's amazing work. I have to say. Mm-hmm. Really no, amazing. I'll work. definitely, I'll definitely get if I get a chance to. I will definitely check it out. Yeah. All right. So going back to glass, going back to split. Okay. So we're going back to the uh, M Night Shyamalan uh, um, trilogy. Trilogy. Yeah, it's a trilogy because it's the one. But we, two, again, three. we didn't know that Split was a the sequel to. No. but it's not I technically think, a I th- sequel. I think what it was was a last minute. Last minute uh, addition. They last they added it in last minute to uh, make it a uh, sequel. Okay. They added uh, Bruce Willis at the last bit because apparently it wasn't supposed to be. It wasn't supposed to be connected to the unbreak. Well, the I think there was talks years ago that they want he wanted to do uh, a sequel to Unbreakable and wanted to make it a trilogy out of it. At least that's what, uh, from the um, the rumors that I've heard and read online. But I think this is a good uh, uh, segue. First of all, I'm just happy to see another, uh, I guess I would call it an Unbreakable sequel, but I'm just happy to see uh, Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson back reprising their role as um, Elijah Price and uh, David Dunn. So I'm again, uh, we'll see we'll see how how uh, James McAvoy's character fits in this world. But I you know, I think they don't they I think it's enough to say that um, Elijah does manipulate um, whatever the beast yeah. James McAvoy's got to do his bidding. 
Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think he's just going to... He's like the Lex Luthor type of thing. Yeah. He's going to mastermind. He's always... And they even say it. They always under uh, underestimate the mastermind. But that's it, right? The, his mom says that. Because he's, he's, he's smart. He is. Smart. He's genius. Like, because if you look at it, uh, uh, Bruce Willis's character is super strong. Yeah. But not that bright. No, and he has weaknesses too. Only uh, water. Only, only water, yeah. Yeah. Whereas, M, uh, whereas uh, Glass... He is super smart, but super frail. Yeah. So they're like they're the exact opposite of yeah. each other, and so far the beast doesn't have anything, and he he's trying to. I guess he's trying to. Make I think he's just again he uh, that's tw- he has twenty three, I believe. Uh, twenty three personalities. Uh, personalities uh, to go with one being very dangerous in in that aspect in terms of being a like a in beast mode. Yeah, he's a beast. So, um, but I know he his per, the personalities will be pretty much a big factor in this glass movie. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. By again, I'm just happy to see something uh, that will continue the story of Unbreakable. So, will it be a success? I don't know, but uh, for the most part, I'm excited to see it. For nonetheless, D- do you think it can take down uh, Aquaman and the Upside? Well, or do know. you think it's too uh, niche? I, I, uh, the, there's the upside. Oh yeah, the up, upside just came I out. I think also too. Spider Man into the Spider Verse is still doing. Yeah, it's. I good. think it's fourth. Um, I think it will be number one. You think it will? I think it will. Okay. Uh, I think. Th- I think there's enough buzz for it to at least take the top spot. Will it take the top spot for two, three weeks? I don't know, but at least for the first week, I think it'll have, because a lot of people's curiosity. Uh, you know, leading up to this, especially with the trailer. Again, it doesn't say much. Like it says, necessarily what the story, what the movie will probably be. But I'm pretty sure, knowing M Night Shyamalan movies, there's gonna be some mysterious twists and and maybe some left turns here or there, depending on where the movie, where the uh, story goes in the movie. But um, I think it'll be, I think it'll be in the top spot. All right. So this weekend. Is there another movie coming out this weekend? Like you you don't know. You have okay, so it's going against uh Dog's Way Home, Replicants and The Upside. Oh, I thought The Upside came out already. Yeah, it did on fr- uh, last okay. Friday, the 11th. Yeah, well, Replica like, Yeah, it's is, it's bottom of the barrel. It, yeah. it failed. Yeah. Um you have Glass that comes out this Friday this uh, the 18th. Mm-hmm. Then it next Friday it has The King, The Kid Who Will Be King. And yeah. Serenity, so it doesn't have any much. No, I don't even know what Serenity is. If it's not the uh, the Firefly movie, no, it's not. Um, it's it, it looks like it's Matthew. Mc- uh, no, not Matthew McConaughey. Give me a second here. Oh, if it's Matthew McConaughey, that's a game changer. Right yeah. Oh, it is. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Is that with Anne Hathaway on. too? Uh, give me a second. Yeah. You yeah. Watch. Okay. I, I saw the trailer yeah. for it. It's Zan kind Hathaway, of like, Jason Clark, Domain, yeah. Houston, yeah. Jeremy Strong, Diane Lane, Kenneth Falk, Robert. Yeah. Hawks. It's supposed to be like a somewhat of a film noir mystery. Mm-hmm. If I still we'll remember see. to see the trailer. But ha- Anne Hathaway looks pretty hot in that movie. I'll say that much. You well, for the trailer that I saw. What, you with that. I just, I love me some Anne Hathaway. What do you want? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think it's biggest, it's biggest problem. I think it's going to win this weekend and next weekend. Uh, it's gonna have a, a hard time because on February eighth, okay, which is still a long ways away. It's uh, let me see here, February eighth. So yeah, it wins the n- it could win the next three weekends. Okay. Uh, because but again, you just don't count out the the fact that maybe there'll be a resurgence on on Aquaman. Yeah, or no, maybe by chance. Oh, let's go see me some Aquaman. Let's yeah, there there is a chance. Like yeah. I, I I'm just saying right now, yeah. it doesn't face any competition for the. It has this weekend. It's one. Mm-hmm. Um, next weekend, there's a chance with the kid who would be king. Highly but doubted. I don't know. I, didn't I don't get know. Much. I don't. He- I don't hear enough buzz. It looks. An- it looks. It has Patrick Stewart in it. Yeah, but that's. Patrick, but I, that's not know, enough buzz. Unless he's the P- Professor X or Captain Picard. Like, I yeah. don't think it's a big draw. So next weekend, he's probably going to win. The February first, it has Miss Bala, which I have no idea which it is. There's no thing. Then the February eighth, that's when it faces its biggest challenge. Which is the Lego Movie Part Two? Oh, it, yeah, it, it, oh, that's true. It's in. You also have What Men Want, 
uh the prodigy i don't care and cold pursuit don't care about so yeah pretty much it's it's i it's forgot that the lego it. movie is yeah. coming out in february yeah i thought it was good. i thought it was a summer movie to be honest with you but anyways yeah and then you have how to train then you have uh Bat- attila battle angel coming out on the 14th fighting with my family on the 14th that's the wrestling movie about yep. page wwe page shout out to uh, wwe then you have uh, Happy Death Day two. I didn't see the first one. Yeah, I didn't. It's on Netflix, I think. I know, but again, and then you it's have, on my list. Yeah, it's always on your yeah, list. I know, I know. Then you have How to Train Your Dragon: The Hidden World. So pretty much, um, I don't think I like. I think I, it. I think it can win the next. Uh, yeah. I have a feeling that it's going to win the next. Look, the uh, big jugger. I the only th- okay besides Lego movie, the only big juggernaut movie that I'm thinking that's going to be first is uh, Captain Marvel but that's only in like end of March anyways yeah. so I think for the time being there isn't a slew of movies there's no big ones Captain yeah. Marvel starts I'm, I'm I'm feeling Captain Marvel's going to start the blockbuster you know, uh, the blockbuster season yeah that's it um, well, uh, and uh, big news uh, Black Panther won three awards at the critic the film critic, uh, the the award ceremony that was just this. Oh, the Golden Globes? No, it wasn't the Golden. Was okay. it the Golden Globes? I don't know. I haven't. I missed out. No, I, I fell asleep they, I fell on. on that. Sorry, sorry, people. Uh, let's go to Marvel. I'm not doing my. I'm not doing my job. Like following through the awards. All we all we have to worry about is the Oscars. Okay. Oh yeah, the Oscars. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a good one. Yeah. When Will they find a host? Will they won't? I will, they won't have knows? a host. Oh well, like if they pay me enough, I'll do it. They don't even have to pay me. Well, if they could pay for my... Tr- uh, Critics' Choice Awards. It's Critics' Choice Awards? Okay. Yeah, they won three awards at the Critics', cr- yeah. Critics Choice Awards. Critics' Choice Awards. Gotcha. Yeah. But Marvel's going hard to the paint with yeah. Black Panther and Infinity War. For Why not? The, I think those two movies... like Well, Black Panther was just a great movie uh, that achieved a lot uh, culture-wise and everything. Yeah. Infinity War is it's just a juggernaut. Yeah. Like, jeez. Like... N- like, yeah, you know, and wh- like, wh- like, let alone end games coming up uh, in the beginning of the summer in late April. Like, I think what those two movies achieve, not just on the aspect of being a, um, a superhero movie, a Marvel movie, is they set the trend on doing something pretty different in those two aspects. Black Panther being. Um, a culturally sound superhero movie, um, and with um, with Infinity War, it's just setting up something where it's something you, that's never been seen before. Never, in the sense where it's like this, this, the the ending was just pretty much like lights out, you know. Uh, like there is movies that where it's like just no dire, just like no like happy endings, but this one because it's, it deals with. Ten years of watching like Marvel movies cult cultivate to this particular moment, and then boom! It's like it kind of it kind of now we're in this we're in that stage where like the MCU is now resetting, so it's like it's a, it's it's a good time for watching good for su- it's a good time for watching superhero movies. I might say. Yeah, and going back on superheroes. Uh, bring it back to glass. What do you think? Gonna- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that segue. <laughs> nice. Go ahead. Uh, what What are th- some of the things that you want to see happen in this movie? I don't know. To be honest with you, I, that's I think that's what's a good thing uh, for me. Um, just to go in there, <coughs> like I have Bless an idea. You. So I thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, just to have the uh, just to see those characters interact with each other would be great. I uh, hopefully there's some. I wish. I hope that's gonna be something where it's um, there's gonna be some sort of. <coughs> oh my god, uh, some sort of twist and turns that I'll probably like. I hope they go into this movie where there's something where that would shock me. Will that happen? I don't know. Like depending on the back the the track record of M Night Shyamalan movies recently. Um, I just hoping for a good movie. That's pretty much it. You? Well, here here's the thing. I'm trying to transition out here do the transition there we go for some reason my remote wasn't working um i'm good you're good okay um yeah i'm hoping with this movie i'm hoping that m night Shyamala returns to form i think he will i, think I don't so. i don't need a huge uh huge twist in this like 
I don't I don't want at the end of the movie like you have this whole movie plays out the this epic battle between the beast and uh, uh and uh Bruce Willis's character and then at the end all it is is it just like pulls out and it's just a fucking comic book and some kid reading a comic book in a, a comic book store like, maybe that could be the ending I don't want it to be the ending but that's fine with me as long as the movie's good and and also I want to make know. sure that I, I want to make sure that Bruce Willis doesn't ham it up because the last few movies that he's done oh he's he, he's just phoning in yeah. all the uh, things so I'm hoping this is going to be a good performance. On <coughs> oh my god! Excuse me. It's fine. I hope this is going to be a good performance on his end to make the movie great. As well as he did too. Like he, was, he was really good in Unbreakable. You know, he yeah, just you know, not a lot of dialogue, but he shows presence in that movie. So I'm hoping that's going to be the same case when he does. Uh, in in glass, but again, this is mostly going to be a Samuel Samuel Jackson's movie for sure. Well, from the trailers, it looks like he doesn't ham it up too much. Mm-hmm. But pardon me, just I, just be the old Bruce Willis of old. Well, not of old old, but you know when you when you gave a dab. That's hard. You I know? think he needs to direct. I I honestly want him to direct. I think that's his biggest problem is he doesn't direct. I heard uh, I heard a rumor that he's a bit of a diva. Oh, he is. On, he is. Um, on set. Uh, from from, uh, from oh, Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith. Yeah. Uh, again, Kevin Smith, if you want to come on the podcast, always welcome. We'd love to have you for all of five minutes. Hell, five minutes you come out and say, hey, what's up, Phil Better? Talk about your movie. You're, he's refilming. He's rebooting uh, Jane Silent and Bob Strike yep. Back again. Yep. Uh, looking forward to that. Could mm-hmm. I love Jane Silent and Bob Strike Back? I think. Yeah, we did a Kevin Smith movie with uh, Maisie. Yeah. Okay. Um, here we go. Oh, why is that not working? Okay. There we go. Um, just on me now. Kevin Smith, love your face. Please come on. Uh, we'd love to talk to you about everything. Uh, we'll go back to here. There mm-hmm. we go. Still getting used to this. This is this is. I actually like this remote. Like this is this is helping out a lot. Well, it's the iPad you're using, right? Well, I'm not using my iPad. I'm using uh, my LG tablet um, with the OBS. <laughs> Sorry the, about that. It's all right. The OBS uh, Streamlabs uh, okay. system, which allows me to do transitions and that all from here instead of using my mouse. Uh, so yeah, we're recording on OBS, which Sexy. is open broadcast uh, system yeah open broadcast system source i don't know Mm -hmm. Uh, but we're using specifically the Streamlabs, which uh is usually used for uh gamers and twitch streamers and Mm -hmm. youtube gamers and all that but it's working for us so hey not gonna again if as long as you're seeing our faces you know again remember this face that beautiful 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 face hold on do you still hear me yeah yeah i can hear you (laughs) Good. I, I forgot to mute something. Oh, okay. um, so there's a there's <laughs> for some ra- random reason there's just a r- music and it's because of the desktop audio. Okay. Um, hopefully it didn't come through. I heard it on my uh, headphones, but we'll see. I heard something through my headphones. Yeah, but I, I don't know if it's got recorded. We're we're talking right now like it's rec- it's been recorded. People are like, I don't, I didn't hear anything. What are they talking about? But anyways, so you're anticipating. Are you going to a midnight showing of this? When are you going to see this movie? Um, my plan is to go to see go see it uh, either Saturday or Sunday. Okay, you? Uh, I would have to see it actually Sunday if I want to see it mm-hmm. because. Friday, uh, I leave for Ottawa for just the day. Oh my God, what are you doing in Ottawa? I'm going to see actually Bert Kreischer at the machine. Ooh, nice. Yes, yes. Nice. Uh, very happy about that. Mm-hmm. Bought the tickets when he first announced the show. Yeah, because I don't think he does. He does. I don't think there's a This is his show. first world tour. Or, well, yeah. he's North American tour. Yeah, but I don't think there's a. I don't think he'll be coming through Montreal, is he? No, which really sucks. He yeah, should. He should. But, but I think if anything, he'll come maybe for the, uh, for the Just for Laughs. But. Maybe. Don't know. I uh, didn't see anything. He's right now doing his first ever tour big tour with he's got a tour bus Mm -hmm. uh he's doing theaters so this is i i'm really excited about this i really like him uh, ever since i heard the machine like two or three years ago Mm -hmm. um so yeah i'm going to see him but it's at 9 30 we're going to the show okay because we can't make the seven o'clock 7 30 show or the seven o'clock show so we're going to the 9 30 show so literally uh i meet my friend i get lee we jump in the car drive straight there yeah Uh, no it's only like a 
two hours or even less to get yeah. there anyways. Um, I'm only worried about a bit about traffic in the city. But even know. there, it depends. I'm going to check Google. Then uh, we go to the show. We watch the show. Come back. Then Saturday, I have to go to my... <laughs> bless you. Sorry about that. It's all right. Um, Saturday, I have to go to my parents' place. Mm-hmm. Uh, have family dinner. Um, probably going to be there all day. Okay. Spend time with the, the nephew, the godson, uh, the super peanut, as he's known as. Nice. Which is, by the way, my next tattoo, a super peanut. I don't know where, though. I haven't decided yet. Mm. Maybe the wrist. I don't know. Okay. Um, uh, this like where on your body? Yeah, okay. I, I it's probably going to be on the arm, but yeah. I don't know where. Just like, as long as it's not in the face. No, 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 no. always neck down, neck down. <coughs> okay. No neck tattoos, no gotcha. face tattoos until I'm like I make enough money that I don't have to work ever again. Maybe I'll get face tattoos. Even then, would you I want to? No. Like, mm. don't be one of those. Don't, don't be one of those. The people. SoundCloud rappers. <sighs> Next. Moving on. Uh, yeah, Sunday's my only day off, which probably will be editing uh, a guest episode of the epi- uh, podcast or mm-hmm. lining up uh, another episode that we're going to be doing, mm-hmm. uh, working on stuff for the, the, the podcast pretty mm-hmm. much. Wow, well, we're coming out. Wow, it's been 50 minutes so far. Really? It went by pretty fast for yeah. me. Um, what about you? What do you got this weekend? Well, um, just to do some plugs here on Thursdays. Actually, Thursday... Uh, I usually do uh, the uh, I usually DJ at McLean's Pub. Shout out to um, McLean's. Yep, on Thursdays it's uh, I call it Urban Thursday where I just mainly play hip hop. I usually play after the um, after the hockey game because there's usually a hockey game uh, coming up on Thursdays. Uh, Habs go Habs go. Yes. Uh, but I'm also this Thursday be playing um, at this place called Bootleggers. Uh, where uh, I'll be jamming with the Urban Science Crew, which is a instrumental group playing hip hop tracks. Uh, it's always fun playing there. They do the cipher, so it's like open mic for anybody who wants to be uh, rapping, uh, doing some like freestyles. So I'm always having fun there. So that's where I usually am on Thursdays. Fridays, this Friday, uh, I'll be at Le Social. Uh, I know you were there for New Year's. Yes, yeah. me and Lee went yeah. there for New Year's. It was amazing, it was fun fair. time. I had I had a, an amazing time. I drank a lot of uh, champagne. That was good. You got a bottle of champagne to I, yourself, and, and I I didn't even know it was like uh, like close to full. I was like, hey, you can have it. I'm like, oh shit, okay. Can yeah, I was you all, got I a would, full bottle, maybe one. I got or a full two bottle, glasses. and I'm already drinking like two pints, and then it's like everybody was giving me shots. Ugh, anyways. It was fun. So, but I'm there at Le Social on uh, um, every Friday well, on Wellington Street. I don't have the exact, but it's in Verdun, my uh, my hometown, uh, my my uh, my neighborhood. And uh, your the, crew, yeah, my crew. Saturdays, I'm not doing much. I don't have any um, gigs then. But I'm gonna try to make it up to go see Glass on Saturday. If not, it'll be Sunday. Why isn't this not working? Transition. Transition. I wanted you to be on the screen the whole time for that. I was, and I was pitching everything, and I wasn't. You on were. Sc- you for most of it was, but when, but for some reason, my remote wasn't working. It's fine. Okay, can you see this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh Jesus, really? I, I me, was. Well, it was. Both I screen. was in the mood. I was. Give me your sad face. Give me your disappointed look. Wah wah. We need to get sound effects too on that one too. So yeah, when so I feel disappointed, you're just looking. Now, now, we're, now we're on my beautiful white pasty ass face. I would call it pasty, dude. I'm pasty. I you, normally you were, but I see a lot of red. Maybe it's because it's because uh, I'm smiling so much. You're smiling so much. You're blushing because I'm here. And it's also the uh, the probably from this, <laughs> the, the light bouncing off that. Okay, that too. Okay. <laughs> Just so you know, uh, in that ball is it's water, right? It's water, yeah. Okay. No, I left the vodka and the whiskey. Okay, uh, out. so we we would like, but uh, we're, so we're sponsoring water as well. Yeah, I should. Yeah, right here. Yeah, I I, I found things with zero logos on it because I'm like I am not promoting anything that is not what something that we do, and then that. Okay, um, should we should we watch too on on clothes wear if like we wear like a Gucci shirt or something? Or no, no. Like uh, I am planning on getting us uh, uh, logo shirts. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ooh, so, hold on. so that we can wear it during the show or something like that. Uh, again, I, since I got it through the like, since I got here, I've been like smiling nonstop. Oh yeah, yeah. when yeah. so I walked in 
like I was I was setting up the uh, system. I wish I had other things set up so I can actually show you our setup. But if you check out our Instagram, you will see the photo of how everything's set up. Yeah. Uh, so you know what, Al? Throw the plugs out for yourself. We'll okay. do the plugs now. Wait, no, I'll finish the story. Should no, I finish no, the story? Do what you got to do. It's your show. I know it's my show. I, I there, there's a reason why the show's called the Phil Better Show. So... Al comes in, like I'm finishing setting up everything, trying to get all the angles right because I, the two cameras, trying to figure out. Al comes into the apartment, he looks over, and all he sees is my dining room table, because we're sitting at my dining room table, in my living room, computer monitors everywhere, everything, not normally how we set you, up. You, you, you made such an effort, too. Uh, I did. And it's like, it's paying off. Like, I feel, I feel... Uh, I feel like now there's a table I could just, you know, that's my arm. I have a table here. I feel like I'm in an office. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you look over like a, Al's... Like a media, a media office. Yeah. Like, if you look over Al's shoulder, that little hallway is uh, going to my front door. Yeah. Um, so Al comes in. No, you, you need a bit more. Oh. Yeah. There, your, your face. No, no, it's fine. You're fine. Okay, don't worry. like we'll, we'll um, wear that. If you, again, I don't have anything in front of me. Anyways, go yeah. ahead. Um, so Al comes in and he just sees how everything's set up. Huge smile on his face, excited that he comes in, and we, we did some finalization, getting the angles right for the cameras so that Al's perfectly in shot. I'm perfectly in shot. We got the light. Uh, I needed an extra light because I was too dark on this side. Um, but yeah. So, oh, excuse me. Uh, I don't really. You're care. excused. Thank you. Um, Al, give me a second. Let me get you up on the screen. Send me up with your socials. Okay, so uh, let's start with, okay, I'm DJ Overflow, so I DJ all over Montreal. You can find me on various social medias, on Twitter and on Instagram at DJ, at DJ Overflow underscore MTL. Uh, you can check out my Facebook page as well, which is DJ Overflow MTL, and I have my website, which is www.djoverflowmtl.com, um, and you and you can also just if you see this face, it, chances are you can find me easily on the uh, web universe. There we go. Yep. You're done. Oh, yeah, I'm happy. All right. I'm happy. Ladies and gentlemen, I am, of course, Phil Better. I'm going to mute you right now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, I am Phil Better, your host with the most. You can find the show um, everywhere on social media at the Phil Better Show or Phil Better Show. Um, that's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, we will have uh, uh, now YouTube. So uh, YouTube.com slash Phil Better Show. I cannot wait to see this episode. Dude, I, I am so nervous to put this up. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna be good. This is our first episode. Yeah, it's like, true. From this point on, it's just gonna get better and better. Yeah, I'm gonna be working hard on getting graphics and that. So it's you good. are, you are already working hard. So dude, like. um, yeah. So make sure you like, you subscribe, uh, hit the bell notification. I don't know. Uh, I don't do YouTube. We uh, we'll work. <laughs> we're gonna work on that too. Yeah, well, so. graphics and shit. Uh, but yeah, but, uh, definitely leave comments too. Uh, Please, yeah. So. The remote's not working. Hold on. There we go. Get Al on the screen. Al. Yeah. I want to thank you again. No, I want to thank you for having me here. Uh, like I said, this is a blast. Now that people can see my face, I got to make sure that I groom myself the, for for uh, our next episode. You look wonderful, I'm just saying. Yeah. You do. It's the cheeks, isn't it? It is. <laughs> so cuddly. Just want to I pinch. know. Don't, I please don't. To, I need to groom the beard a bit too. Get this, uh, this mane. You well, you might as well now because I know the I know the NHL playoff season is going to come, and I know you want to grow that for you know grow. I, I do have to shave the beard off for when the playoffs start. Okay, so it's going to be awkward. Yeah, it's going to be awkward. Wait, we will. Let's wait till uh, we uh, get to that point, and hopefully the Habs will be in the playoffs. If the Habs don't make it to the playoffs. It's not being shaved. Okay. If the Habs make it to the playoffs, okay. I have to shave. Shave it and then just see how thick it's going to be. Oh, yeah. It's, gonna it's be. probably going to even get thick after maybe a week. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want to thank you for listening in to the podcast. Make sure you like, you subscribe, you share with all your friends. Uh, on behalf of DJ Overflow, a.k.a. Alon Movies, a.k.a. The Best co-host in the world Al. We're, we're still trigger we're still trying to figure out a name for me i don't want to be like pup daddy and have like multiple names so alan movies do we stick with well, alan I, I like alan movies so but alan DJ, movies so um, dj overflow still but i'm just promoting that but anyways 
Yeah, I end, know I'm complicated. He is. He's he's very complicated. I'm, just, I'm a regular Avril uh, Lavigne song. You are, but I still love your face. I know. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much uh, to listening to watch. If you're watching this, thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Um, hopefully, we'll get better and better. Of course, the episode is live. We will. We will. It's true. We will. Because no matter what, we're gonna get better. Um, I thank you. Have a beautiful day. I love your faces. Good night. Take care. Take care. All right. See you next time, guys. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Trent. No. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to end this. There we go. Transition to the logo. And then uh, have a great time. <laughs> Bye-bye, people. <laughs>